What's up, duelists? This last weekend, Hector, aka HT19, won RBTLA with three copies of Jar of Greed and three copies of Legacy of Yadagrasu in his deck. His opponent in the finals had two copies of Jar of Greed and three copies of Legacy of Yadagrasu, and I'm convinced his only mistake was not playing the full six of these draw traps. Uh, did these cards solve a lot of the problems in Edison format? Who knows? I actually think we are just on the verge of seeing how staple these cards will become. In today's video, I'm not going to be playing Hector's List. I do love Hector's List, but usually when I play Black Wings, everyone gets really upset. So we're just going to play Six Samurai instead with the same concept. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, no, but for real, for real. We're playing, we're playing Six Samurai, and, and I actually do think that playing Triple Legacy, Triple Jar might make this deck on the verge of competitive. Really what this deck is lacking is just like six good cards that it can play. Sometimes you just get hands where you have like multiple Zanji, multiple whatever guy, and you're just like, man, this sucks. But when you play the six draw traps, you don't have to play multiples of those cards. You can play the bare minimum of these dog shit creatures. You get to play maximum spirit, maximum grandmaster, and you get to see them more consistently. On top of that, you can maybe bait a heavy storm or a space typhoon and make your gateway even more safe, which is really, really nice. It's just a cool way to sort of flesh out decks that were otherwise lacking just a tiny bit of consistency in Edison format, and I think Six Samurai is one of those decks that's right on the edge. Another thing I've stolen from Hector's list is the sideboard plan of just bringing in Floodgates plus Dark Bribe. That's kind of just a vibe that I have here with the Triple Iron Wall for Vayu Turbo, Dragons, that sort of thing, Dark Bribe to help defend them. Triple Pulling the Rug, Torrential for Frogs, Torrential also helps against Black Wing, Soul Release also for Frogs. We're not going to be bringing in the Iron Walls there. Then we've got Heavy Storm because it's a power card. Book of Moon, a second one to help us versus uh, Black Wings. Basically, just anything that can normal summon and get value. Also, just to help make sure our guys stick around. Two Cyber Dragons for Machines. We can side out the two Solidarity for the two Cyber Dragons. And then two Consecrated Light for Black Wings. We can side out the two Solidarity or the Iro and a Solidarity for two Consecrated Light and just go from there. So... Good shit. I'm I'm excited to try this deck out. We have an eight-man tournament from the people in the Discord. You know the people in the disc. You know the people in the Discord. The powerful duelists in the Discord. We have a l very stacked, very very stacked eight-man today. We got Gerbs. We got uh, a bunch of eight-man regulars. So getting into things uh, right quick. Let's go ahead and start with Scissors. I'm gonna pick Rock now. I think he's gonna go back to Scissors. Okay, that was a little bit confusing. I'm gonna pick Rock again. If he picks paper, he got me. Okay. This is actually really challenging. I think going scissors makes sense. Damn, triple rock. Dude, I am... I'm actually... I'm so curious how many rock, paper, scissors I've lost. I'm pretty sure it's like somewhere in the 70% range. I'm pretty sure I'm just like bad at RPS or something. Anyway, look at this hand. Like, imagine this hand if we had like a bunch of Zangies in it. This hand would suck. But instead of Zangies, we just get mulligans towards fucking... Um, the Grandmaster guy, which is sick. Also, we can maybe beta Raikou. Smashing Ground is like, it may seem like a weird card in this deck, but we just need like a uh, removal spell that's good to draw into off of Jar of Greed and Legacy. I was testing, um, I was testing out Lightning Vortex, and Lightning Vortex might be good, but I think, um, I think that this is better. So Rhoda can get us to Spirit, but I don't really want to tell him what we're about yet. So I think it's just set to pass. I, I do want to Rota for Spirit at some point, but like I said, I don't I don't really want to tell him what we're about. I do want to hit into Grandmaster. That'd be the best thing. Or a second gateway. If we can hit a second gateway or a gate... See, this is perfect. This is perfect. Here comes Raikou. Flip. We're going to chain Jar of Greed to draw a new card. He's going to mill three. He's going to hit Plague, Foolish, and Mirror Four. So this looks like uh, Value Turbo, maybe, or possibly Lightsworn. Okay, never mind. He's got Lone Fire Blossom. Um... Okay, interesting. Gravity Bind is a good draw. Smashing Ground is also going to help us against Titanial. I do wish that we had a little bit better of a card here, maybe Lightning Vortex, but 3,000 is a lot of damage. I can't lie. He might be playing Amaryllis, actually. Yeah, Amaryllis makes sense. But going double Lone Fire doesn't make sense. Usually when you're playing Amaryllis, you don't want to go double Lone Fire. So Yaichi is a good draw. That's a guy that can attack under... Gravity Bind, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just fire off this Smashing Ground. 
and see if he wants to stop that somehow. Cool. His back row is probably Phoenix Wing. So, um, in this situation, I think it's best to Rota for Spirit. Spirit's going to really get us going here. Rota for Spirit. And activate Gateway. Normal Spirit of the Six Samurai. Get two counters. Gonna go ahead and battle phase attack the Raiko. It's gonna book Raiko. Okay, that's fine. Raiko may pop the gate. Yeah, that makes sense. That's okay though. I'm okay with this. Whoa, is this just like plague in? Huh. Plague in like quick draw. I'm curious. Uh, this is pretty pretty bad to set the gravity bind here if he has debris dragon, but I want him to at least like kind of think we're. What the fuck is this? Oh, of course, we draw the grandmaster next. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. We can Yaichi pop and then uh, equip the grandmaster. So I think we should fire the legacy first, just in case we draw into gateway or united. So I'm gonna do that now. Uh, activate legacy, draw a card, we draw a second grandmaster, not the best. He's kind of shit in multiples, but having a second one can help insulate us. So we're gonna normal Yaichi. I'm gonna priority to try and target his back row. Let's see what he wants to do with this. It's solemn judgment, okay. He's not gonna solemn, beautiful. I'm gonna special summon grandmaster. I'm gonna activate spirit, equip to grandmaster. So this is gonna get us yet another card draw. This is why we max out on Spirit and Grandmaster, because this is like your towers in this deck. This is how you build an unkillable threat that draws cards. So we're going to attack the set monster here with the Grandmaster. Raiko is going to activate, targeting the back row. We are going to get to draw a new card. He's going to blow up the Gravity Bind. That's totally fine. Um, once again, like this is big chilling. So he's going to mill three. I hit a Volcanic Shell. Okay, we have Jar of Greed, we can set that bad boy and pass. Yaichi can't attack because uh, we use its ability to pop this turn. So we just kind of use it as a jank space typhoon. That's fine. We only play one of the Yaichi and the Cayman. You can actually get them back with um, with Gateway once you draw into it. So you kind of have like infinite reuses of them, provided you don't like play like an idiot and slam your Yaichi into a D-Prison. Um, yeah, pretty much. With 2D Prison gone, this Grandmaster is going to be pretty annoying for him to deal with. And then um, the cool thing about Grandmaster is if it dies, yeah, this is chill. Um, if it dies, then we can add any Six Samurai monster back. So we could like even add back our Spirit if we have a second Six Samurai, or we could add back our Yaichi, or any of our one ofs, basically. Uh, volcanic Shell is going to tutor another Volcanic Shell. We basically gave him some free activations here. Here's Caius. That's going to target the Grandmaster, undoubtedly. Okay, so pretty tough, but we got we got two cards out of him. We got a quick draw on Akaya, so that does kind of suck, though. There goes our Yaichi. Draw for turn. It's another gateway. Beautiful. So I think we do want a jar just to see what we get, because we might draw into Spirit, and that'd be the best thing. So jar is going to find level limit. Okay, not quite the most useful here. Um, trying to think. What does Zanji do again? It's like this card will be destroyed. Let's destroy the monster. Of this card attack at the end of the damage step. If this card attacks, so we can trade this with the Caius, but we'll take some damage. I think that may be worth it. Alternatively, we could just level limit him and like force him to play under level limit while we get our infinite resources going. Man, that's so tricky. I just don't want to get black rosed quite yet. He can stack for plague and then pay shell to search again. So um, he has like, he has a lot of, um, he has a free plague basically, which means another Caius will just kill me. So I think I have to go for the gate and then I do have to go 
normal Zanji, special Grandmaster, um, and then the gate is going to have four counters. We could use the gate to go for plus, like to search, um, or we could use it to pump to run over, or I can just trade the Zanji. I think trading the Zanji is better. Like trading the Zanji and getting a search is a better play. This could be totally wrong, but I think this is the better play. We're gonna go ahead and pay for, and what we're gonna search for is actually um, Spirit, I believe. Let's just get it out of the deck. And then go battle phase, attack with Zanji. We're gonna take 600, but we'll use his effect to kill the Caius. And then I'm actually not gonna play into Gores. I think we're just gonna pass. Um, yeah, because he has, right now he has Shell in hand, three unknown, and if one of those is like Gores, Jesus fucking Christ. This matchup seems miserable, by the way. It seems like a tough matchup. If we don't, like, if we had managed to stick that first gateway, or if we had drawn a Grandmaster early, I think it changes the whole game, but the fact of the matter is we didn't, and now we're basically just playing behind the entire game from this point. Like, this is just really, really bad, um, because we didn't get that first initial, like, momentum. Once you get the momentum from Gateway and you start like chaining things together, it's like so much better, but we never had that initial momentum. We were, we've been playing behind this entire game. Um, I think a large part of that comes to the fact that we went second. A large part of that came is due to the fact that he had uh, Quick Draw onto Caius on a crucial turn. A large part of that is in fact to do with like, just like specific things that had happened. Okay, here comes the free play, play that he's gonna make. Um, I'm not sure what he's gonna do with this. Maybe I should have searched another Grandmaster in case he went for this into Caius. Yep, there's the shell. He paid five. But this matchup is is for sure bad, and he didn't break. Like, he started really hot. He had, like, Ryko, um, was it Ryko something into fucking Titanial into, yeah, he has a second Caius. That's really tough. We have to get kind of lucky here. Um, I don't think, like, obscenely lucky, but just, like, we have to get kind of lucky for sure. There's Cayman. Um, that's a very good draw because I can run over the Caius under level limit. So we'll go ahead and use the level limit. Normal Cayman. Get two counters. And then we'll attack over the Caius. So. We're not just done here. He does have what? Shell in hand. Three unknowns. Uh, Black Rose is, is still on the table with the Car Trooper. So... Yeah, it, it's not just over, but we're really low, and he's a deck that can make Drill Warrior. That being said, I'm, I'm really happy the Plague is gone. He's going to be able to rock it here, search for something. That's fine. This doesn't matter, ultimately, because um, we can keep adding back our guys. He's going to try and pop the Cayman. That's totally fine. We're going to draw Grandmaster, which is actually hella good, I think. I'm not even sure. How hella good is it? We know he has one more shell in hand. He would have played it. Okay, so normal spirit. Get two counters. Uh, we special Grandmaster in defense, I believe. Yeah. See, this is the this is the resource loop. So we get. Now we have some initiative. We just need to fade some bullshit, basically. I'm gonna gateway to add that's going to get us back Cayman because Cayman can not only pop the blaze accelerator but it can also run over the rocket I'm going to activate the effect of spirit to equip to the Grandmaster this will just give us a resilient threat and play um, if he wants to pop this then it's going to pop the spirit maybe I shouldn't have done that maybe I should have kept the spirit I don't think it matters that much next turn I can get the counters and then add it back so um, we both have our like resource loop enabled, but I've got my level limit in play, so uh, hopefully I can defend myself long enough to take control of this game. It's going to be pretty hard, but I I think we've got I think we've got some some sort of stuff we can do. Iro is an interesting draw. It's not a great draw, but it's like it's a draw we could have here. You know, I'm going to go ahead and use the Spirit of the Six Samurai to special summon itself. Get two more counters. 
This guy drops a little bit lower. If that's a Raikou, right that fucking sucks. He only has one left. I have Iro. I have Cayman. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna are we gonna add back Yaichi this turn? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna normal Cayman and get two counters. And just hope that this works. Can I equip this and unequip this? Once per turn, you can either. No, I can't do both. All right, let's just go battle phase. Keep it simple. Attack the rocket. That's going to get blown up. Main phase two. Um, let's go ahead and search Grandmaster, I believe. No, wait, 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 wait. If level limit gets blown up, we're probably losing the game. Like, just straight up. We know he has a... We know he has a guy. Hmm. All right. Caius wins him the game on the spot. He just sacks and then burns himself. Uh, let's head back Yaichi. I think that's the best play. We'll pass. I could have attacked the scent monster, but I think the likelihood of it being hamster is just too high. He, he has one Raikou left in deck. If he has Caius, he can just win the game. Pot of Avarice is really fucking annoying. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't have respect to Caius. Is. They were game shots, but alas, here we are. He's going to have two game shots in his deck, possibly even three. And then he's going to be able to do that shit with Caius. Pretty brutal. Pretty unfortunate that we dropped this low. Like I said, this, this game was... Uh, actually, I think... More of a dice roll than, uh, than it felt, than a lot of other games have felt in the past. The fact of the matter is, he hasn't drawn Heavy Storm, Typhoon, or Caius. He doesn't have another Raikou set. And we're actually kind of chilling. He hasn't drawn Debris Dragon either. I've, I've gotten really lucky this game to even be in it. I, I'm not going to deny the fact that I've gotten incredibly lucky this game. There's Sangin. That's a That's a fucking good draw. Because that's going to kill the spirit. Does guy have that if a six samurai monster would be destroyed? No, he doesn't. Okay. So that's going to kill the, the spirit of the six. Which is okay, I guess. We're going to drop even lower. Sangin's problematic, but we can manage it. Here's Raikou to pop gateway. Why would you not pop level limit? I don't understand. Um... He milled Dandelion, so he's going to get two tokens. Didn't mill any of the cards I wanted him to mill, which would be like Caius, Avarice, that sort of thing. He's going to set another back row. Damn, dude, this is really annoying. I'm not going to lie. All right, so. Raiko being gone is okay. We have Yaichi and Cayman to start building up advantage, so let's start with Cayman to destroy the Blaze Accelerator. And then I'll normal Yaichi and priority target the old one. Because I know that one's not torrential. It's dust shoot. Okay. Cool. Um, neither of my dudes can attack, so we just have to pass. Um, yeah. He can crash his Sangin to go find debris, but we do have Starlight Road now, so... A little bit safer. I mean, Caius is still like this looming threat that I have no outs for i guess i have solemn for it yeah he drew caius okay caius is gonna target actually it doesn't matter really what he targets he's gonna target level limit okay um sure saying is gonna search yep i wonder what he's gonna search for quick draw quick draw makes sense I think this was a little bit risky from him, actually. I think he should have just targeted himself. But maybe he was trying to play around bottomless. But this this plays even harder into bottomless, I would say. So, yeah, I don't know. Does he have another shell? Oh, yeah, he shuffled him back. Like I said, we had to get pretty lucky to be in this game to begin with. So, um, fact of the matter is we, uh, we got this far. And alas... It didn't come to fruition. It's crazy how much like a tiny bit of momentum in Edison format can like affect things. He's like not even gonna have the drill. That's so crazy. All right, 
So we lost that one. Unfortunate, but it does happen. In the post-board game versus this deck, we do have a lot of good tools. We have the pulling the rug, which stops Caius. It also stops Debris Dragon. It also stops Volcanic Rocket, so it's a pretty good card. I think Trenchel is pretty good as well. I'm going to start things off with two pulling the rug. I think it's pretty important. I'm going to cut the smashing ground because I just don't think there's anything we need to smashing ground. And I'm going to cut the Book of Moon. I think it's just a little bit low impact. I'd rather have pulling the rug set. Um, all of the monsters seem good. All of the monsters seem like solid. Solidarity is another card that like kind of wish we would have drawn at some point last game, but uh, I think we can side it out pretty safely. Level Limit and Gravity Bind are interesting for the deck's game plan here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go another Pulling the Rug, and I'm going to go with maybe Soul Release or Torrential. I'm not sure which. How do we beat Drill Warrior? Iron Wall? Is that the plan? Soul Release also deals with Drill Warrior in some capacity. I kind of want to keep the Solidarities in, though, because they do, like, make our guys, like, real to an extent. It's just kind of hard to get them live. It's not really a grindy matchup like that, so. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just run it like this. I could be making a mistake not siding out any of the draw cards, but I just want to make sure I see Gateway and Monster, basically, so. Let's upstart Goblin. Drawn to Starlight Road. Beautiful. That's a really good draw. I'm going to set three, and I'm going to pass. We don't want to go for all this quite yet, because we don't have a Grandmaster. Like, we only have three counters here, and we expose the Six Samurai United and the Gateway pretty early on, so... Ah, oh, this is fine. This doesn't matter. We'll take a thousand. He's going to set a back row. To play around Royal Decree, I'm actually going to end phase the Legacy. Alright, cool. So we draw for turn, and it's Iro. Still nothing, a little bit awkward, I'm not gonna lie. No United, no Gateway, just more purple cards. Hmm. I think we can afford another turn. I'll set two and pass. If it is Royal Decree, though, it's going to be really annoying. Let's dust shoot him and see what's up. Kind of wanted to save the dust shoot till after we saw what was up. We have Rogue for Caius. I'm going to take Dandy Lion because I don't want to deal with Drill. I mean, either way, he can deal with Drill, so he can make Drill. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I just I don't want him to get to Drill this turn. It's probably dandy. It's probably dandy. Because then he's like... He goes through a lot of hoops to get a drill warrior that doesn't do anything, basically. Yeah. Like, he can sack Sangin for Caius. We've got Rug for that. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think he's going to make that play, though, which is nice. He's got Force Torrential... Good to know, I guess. All right, 12 cards in. Can we get a Grandmaster or another Gateway? The answer is no. Now that I know his hand, though, I'm much more confident in going for the United and the Gateway and Normal Summoning the Hand of the Six because we have two of those. One of these, two here. And I'm going to attack the Sangin. He might mirror force me. He may not. He's just going to let that die. That can search him for quick draw. Lone Fire. Okay. Interesting. Lone Fire, Lone Fire, Lone Fire. Hmm. I fucking hope he draws Titanium, I guess. I don't know. 
Should I set the second road? It's a real good question. I, I am going to set it. I think there's a chance that we activate both this game. Um, as weird as that sounds. Yeah, there's like a small chance. It's not like huge, but something. I'm trying to think if we gateway search first to get Grandmaster. There's Call of the Haunted Target Sangin. Sure. That's bad for me. Man, this matchup is really bad. <laughs> I'm like kind of annoyed by it, but at least this is a normal summon. Um, Sangin 1, Caius 2, and we'll just negate that with pulling the rug. So, he's going to be able to Sangin search. Yep. And that can get him Quick Draw or Dandy. Not sure which he'll want to search, but his normal summon was used this turn, so he can't, like, drill this turn. And then next turn, we can have a really big turn. So, he's going to search Debris. Okay, I don't give a shit about Debris Dragon. That doesn't fucking affect me at all. All right. I'm actually just crushing right now. This is just fucking GG. Normal Iro. Get the United. I'll road there. Get the uh, Gateway. He said, oh, yeah. Yeah, that one was that one was pretty obvious. Then we'll gateway, remove three from gateway, one from United. Search Grandmaster. We might even be able to OTK here. I believe we can, thanks to the uh, second road being set. So that gets us one here, two here. I'm gonna draw two cards now. Draw Cayman, upstart. Ah, oh, can we up OTK if I upstart? Let's see. If I pump one guy, that's 21. 21, 21 is 42. 66, 83 plus the second Stardust should be game. So, the second Stardust is game even if I don't pump though. So, I think we just. Well, he might just not mirror force me then. Eh. Let's just fucking attack. I don't think it's, there's anything that crazy about it. Let's go hand attack. He's going to mirror force. I'm going to use the second Starlight Road and just win the game. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Tough, tough game. That was actually really hard. I think if I take the wrong card there, he, he finds a way to quick draw dandy me, and then that's really bad. And then we can't beat the drill. But I think we got him... We got him pretty good with the second road there. That uh, that worked out well. Okay. Um. Scary stuff, man. His deck is really good. It's just really good at dismantling what we're doing. Smashing ground does seem kind of important for Titanial. Torrential also seems kind of important, like some capacity, just like coming back to the end of the game. Heavy storm could be pretty useful. I think this is a hard fucking matchup. No lie. Pulling the rug does get worse going second. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. I'm not going to switch it up too much. I do wish I had Lightning Vortex for this matchup. I think it would help a lot. Or like some sort of way to outdrill compulsory, something like that. This hand is okay. It's like not that bad. If we draw a Grandmaster, it's fucking crazy. It's just a fucking crazy hand if I draw a Grandmaster. Unfortunate, he's probably able to get a Stardust Dragon going here. It's going to complicate our game a lot. Or not. Or not. So... Rota for spirit first or upstart first. Is spirit what I'm gonna want to search? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, let's rota for spirit first. I think that's the best best play. Oh my god, Grandmaster was the next card. Every fucking time. Of course. Of course. It's cool. It'll still be there. It'll still be there. Watch. Watch this shit. Watch this shit right now. 
Watch this shit right now. I'm gonna draw Grandmaster. I'm gonna draw Grandmaster of the Six. Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> okay. Um. Yeah, it's just kind of set three pass. That is so stupid. I hate that. I hate that I can see that. I should have just started first. Oh my god. It's like objectively the wrong play, and I'm always punished for it. Sack for quick draw. That's fine. Can't really interact with this. This does get him to Drizzy Drill, which is fine. He can start Drill Dandy looping me, or he can do this. Which plays directly into Mirror Force. Does he have a stop? Maybe a Book of Moon here to prevent his Drill from going bye-bye. Solemn Judgment he's thinking about using. Solemn will drop him pretty low, though. Yeah, I think he's just going to let this happen. All right, passes the turn. Draw for us is Yaichi. I'm going to shotgun the jar because, like, if I find fucking um, Grandmaster right now, I'm the goat. Not quite. Not quite. At what point do we cash in the Uniteds? Is he greedy to keep waiting on this? We have the initiative. I just don't want to play him into Heavy Storm and then just like be forced to Heavy... For, force him... Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that. We have the initiative. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of initiative here to try and get two more redraws out of Grandmaster. I think that, like, if we draw Grandmaster in the next two draws, the chances of us winning go up, like, exponentially. And if he has, like, a set Raikou, like, it shouldn't matter too, too much. Okay, level limit's okay. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's try this Legacy. Okay, another redraw. Let's fire that. Damn. 13 cards in, no Grandmaster. Wonder, or Gateway. I wonder what the chances are of that. Hmm. Do we just pass? I don't think so. I think now it's time to start cashing in the Uniteds. I was trying to think of which of these monsters is the worst, and it's probably Hand, actually. Or it might be Spirit. Oh, it's normal Spirit. Get two United counters. The issue here is, like, if Grandmaster isn't specifically on top of our deck, firing one of these is, like, bad. So. I'm... Probably still gonna do it though. Damn. All right, no reason to hold back now. We just launch. Okay. Uh, that's something. It's definitely something. I don't mind attacking. If it's Raiko, just get the body out of play. He can't Kaius me. He's going to book the spirit. Cool. Okay. Um, let's level limit and then pass. That way he has to pick between popping level limit or popping pulling or popping the monster. With, like he can still pop face down with Raiko, sack for Kaius. Kaius hit the level limit, but then his guy goes to defense and then... Um, we can spirit equip and run it over and get hella value, so. Pretty cool with that. Blaze Accelerator pitch to pop the spirit. All right, can pay five. I mean, I've given him a bunch of free volcanic shell activations, but yeah, I'm not too upset by this actually, surprisingly. Hmm.
What is the vibe? Why did he defend this? He spent a book of moon to kill the spirit. The set monster must be bad. Like, it must be, like, actually something kind of bad. Oh, what a draw. It's a really good draw. Okay, I can't pop Blaze Accelerator, but I can pop the face down, or I can pop his set monster. I'm just going to play full into Heavy Storm here. I'm going to normal hand, um, use Gateway, uh, move 4, go get Grandmaster, special Grandmaster, uh, activate, remove 4, go get another Grandmaster so that we can actually make plays next turn in the worst case scenario. Uh, activate hand, pop his monster. That's scary. Special Grandmaster, activate gateway, add back the Grandmaster in our graveyard. Um, battle phase attack for 16. This might get us owned, but We have a really solid lock going on. He can't like commit monsters. He can blow up the hand of the six though. Like with this, he could blow up both our guys, but there's really no reason for him to blow up the Grandmaster. He'll just add back whatever we want. So he's gonna blaze accelerator pitch, pop the hand, makes sense. Just get the pressure off, make sure he can commit monsters here. He's gonna pay another five, get his last shell. His three unknown cards. Heavy Storm is, is obviously public enemy number one. Like this is, this is the card we're looking to avoid. We can play are pulling on a debris dragon that's hideous but I guess it works yeah leave plague makes sense but at least with leave plague he can't free plague us he would have to discard the volcanic shell first and this game has actually gotten really complex um, this is one of the more uh, more fun more fun uh, matches I've played so far I think if we find like a United or a Gateway, we have an infinite draw. Or not infinite draw, sorry, uh, infinite pump. Could be wrong though. No, we don't, because we don't have hand. How does it work? You like hand, uh, sack the Grandmaster, add back the Grandmaster. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works, yeah. Brain control. That's Black Rose, okay. So he can Black Rose us. No, he's gonna go for Caius? That's crazy. I'm gonna pulling the rug that shit. <laughs> I thought he was for sure gonna stack and black rose us. That's nuts. That is that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> I don't know why why we would do that. Um, now we have Yaichi. Normal summon. Gate effect. Fort. This can get us. They can get us back the Grandmaster, or it can search our last Grandmaster, or it can get us back Hand. I think this getting back Hand makes the most sense. And then Special Grandmaster, um, Gateway Effect, four. This will add back the Grandmaster. Actually, I'm gonna search Grandmaster, because drawing Grandmaster is kind of bad right now um and then i'll use yaichi to pop the new set sick yeah and as long as we just don't play like an idiot we should be okay here brain control is gone uh even debris dragon's not that bad like we'll be able to add back grandmaster he's gonna blaze pop yaichi but that's like fine we can just get that back like that's not a big deal at all He's going to pay another five. Um, I think getting spirit established is going to be our next line because that's two searches every turn instead of just one. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the, the best play. Soul release is fucking insane draw. Holy shit. All right, let's bait some shit first. Let's go ahead and normal spirit. And I'll 
Aramid Fort. This will add us back our Yaichi. Then, um, I think, I think it's best to attack. Because if he does have a D prison, he'll use it, and I'm fine trading the spirit for the D prison. He's probably thinking about if he wants to remove the spirit. Yeah. Because if he doesn't remove the spirit now, then it's like... It means his D prison is probably never going to get used. Mirror Force, yeah, same shit. Okay, that's going to work. Main phase two, I'm going to go for the soul release. So this is gonna be a really powerful soul release. We're gonna be able to get Plague, Caius, Shell. I'm actually just gonna take both his trap cards in case he's on that Mask of Darkness shit as well. Cool. So Plague and Shell banished opens up a lot for us. It's been a sick game so far. It's been like really um, back and forth in a lot of ways. But I think we've had him on the ropes for a couple turns now. Like, he's in a bad position now. Because even if he manages to, like, Black Rose us, it, like, won't even matter at this point. Because we've built up such a big hand. I'm going to go Yaichi. Gateway. This is going to add back Spirit to our hand. And then I'm going to Yaichi effect to blow up his back row. I can set Jar of Greed. Pass the turn. This is how Six Samurai with level limit area B controls the game. We don't need to attack to play this deck. He's going to pop Yaichi. I'm going to use Yaichi's effect to blow up Grandmaster instead. Yaichi replace effect. Basically force him to blaze again. He's going to pay 5, get his last shell. Um, I didn't do it on the past turns because like I was scared of like some sort of like black rose play basically. Here's Blaze, blow up the IG. Plus he could just have done this on any point. But um, I think this is uh, I probably should have done it now that I'm thinking about it. I think this is just over though. I, d I don't really see how he gets out of this because now it's like hand, gate, activate. Special Grandmaster, Gate, add back Yaichi, Hand Effect, pop the Set Monster, Special Grandmaster, Gate, add back Grandmaster, Battle Phase, hit for 16. I, I just don't see him coming back from this. What a crazy game. What a fucking crazy game. Uh, this has actually been, like, just magically impressive. He's going to set a monster and pass. We're going to draw Starlight Road. That's going to, like, just basically seal the deal. I'm going to fire off both of these. Just draw two new cards. See what we got. Cook him back here. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, summon this. Activate Gateway. Add back Grandmaster. Activate Hand. Pop his set monster. He's gonna get two tokens. Um, I'm gonna Grandmaster loop, pop both tokens as well. Yeah, so we special this, get one back, etc. etc. Um, Spirit of the Six, equip to hand, 2100, 1500 attack for 21 and then um, main phase two I'm gonna set starlight road and now we're protected from heavy storm and we have like a double insulation against everything I think we just win for sure GG's GG's close one that was actually a close one I I know it may not seem like one but it was a it was a close one and we were able to take control thanks to the power of double gateway this is actually an obscene um, an obscene setup. The second we got the second gateway, it was, it was very difficult for him to come back. And it looks like we're gonna move on in the eight man. Let me just check the bracket. Um, let's see. 
I lost it. Where is the bracket? We play the winner of John Boggs versus Nano Frank. So we can see if they're still playing. That was quite a long game, so I'd be surprised if they were still playing, but they may still be. Um, it doesn't look like it. Let's see, Nano Frank. Nope. Okay. We shall see who won in the Discord. Okay. Cool. I play Nano Frank next. So, exciting stuff. Very bad matchup for us in the first round, and we were able to take it. I really do think. Um, I really do think the draw traps added a lot. Look, have fun. I'm gonna pick paper, and we're gonna win the rock paper scissors. So, um, I'm really impressed with this deck. I think we got pretty lucky in the first match, but um, still, still solid stuff. This hand does need a monster. It's a little bit on the monster light side, but we can we can commit some stuff. Got to be careful about this solemn though. That's not something I want to play right away. Maybe I should have just set torrential or not torrential uh, starlight book and like held the solemn. Hmm. All right. Pass the turn. We are a little bit monster light in this build. I, I will say like, we're only playing like fourteen monsters, something like that, and three of them we can't even normal summon. So, there's a good chance we just don't draw a playable monster and lose this game. I like um, would not be surprised if that happens. Uh, that being said, though, I am. I'm confident in my deck's abilities. I believe in the heart of the cards. Terraforming. Don't want to see that, <laughs> do we? Maybe I should have solemn to that. That's pretty scary. I can't lie. Okay, set. Set, yep. Yeah, it's gonna work. Can't stop that at all. He gets the gear dragon. All right, we can book this and like hope to top deck a monster. Or we can just take 3k to the face. I'm gonna take 3k. I'm gonna take 3k. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alright, we'll just pass. <laughs> it's so over for us, folks. It's over. We just lose. We died to anything. Start battle, I can book his guy, but. Start VP. Book his guy. This is a beautiful hand with a uh, normal summonable monster. He can flip. I think, I think I'm going to solemn that. All right. Still pass? Question mark. We died to the next gear dragon, but we were dead to the next gear dragon either way. <sighs> Let's fucking go, baby. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. This has got to be some sort of infinite damage. I don't know. Maybe not. United. United. Gateway. Gateway. Normal Iro. <laughs> Damn. Damn indeed. He's gonna admit defeat. Holy shit. Oh. Yes. Yes. Let's fucking go. That was definitely not game, but <laughs> I think there was something we could have done there. I'm not sure what we could have done. Sorry, I should have let you do your thing. Uh, all good. I don't think I could have won that turn, but it was gonna be rough for you for sure. Yeah, we would have got, got like a bunch of, we would have got two searches and draw four, so I, that's pretty, that's pretty fucking good. I'll just say that much. Okay, he's playing Gear Town, that's all I know. Cyber Dragon, obviously very good there. The solidarity is not going to be super useful, so let's just easy swap. Book of Moon is going to be very good as well. Book of Moon for the Mirror Force is something we could we could do. Why is this not swapping? Dueling Book, why you do this? Why you do this, Dueling Book? Um, Mirror Force is kind of like my chopping block. 
I also really don't like Trap Dust Shoot versus the Gear Town decks, but I don't know what kind of Gear Town deck he's playing. I mean, it's very possible that we actually want the Trap Dust Shoot. Who knows? I'm going to go ahead and swap Book of Moon and Tarantula in for the Mirror Force and the Dust Shoot, though. I think that they're going to have more potential use cases than um, the other cards that I have in my sideboard here. And I think this is fine. I think this is like about as good as it's going to get. Well, we're going to bring in four cards. We're going to cut four cards. Uh, the rest of my sideboard doesn't really do anything against him. Like, you can make an argument for Dark Bribe. You can make an argument for Mirror Force, depending on his build. But I think that these are the most consistent 40 cards versus any sort of Gajiltron strategy. Um, yeah, so this hand sucks. Balls. But we got Torrential, so we at least have time. The last hand was was better because it needed less to go off um and a turn one guy is going to be very difficult for us to beat i just don't have an out to that so set road set torrential set legacy pass the turn this guy's really good this is a really fucking strong card so we'll see i mean a grandmaster off the top is obviously fucking insane does kind of just win us the game and if he like gets too cute with it we can always torrential him so we can we can afford to take maybe one or two of these hits. Main phase two. Passes the turn. Alright, upstart goblin. Cool, we gotta play we gotta play that. So let's play it. Let's see what our options are. Cyber Dragon. Perfect. <laughs> That's actually like perfect. Let's Let's legacy. I actually want to legacy now and see what we can draw into. Another dog shit samurai. This is literally exactly what I was talking about. Like you draw like two Iros and Zanjis and your hand just looks like fucking garbage and you're just like, why am I playing this game? But you know what? Hey, we're out here. We're gonna go ahead and special summon Cyber Dragon. And I'm gonna contact into Chimera Tech. Does he have bottomless? What, is he, what do you got here? If he bottomlesses me, do I chain torrential? I think the answer is no. He solemns. Okay, well, we can't chain torrential there. Can't do that. I could set a monster here just to not take 2k to the face, but I'm cool with just passing. I think it's fine. The issue is if he, like, sets for a field spell and then has another field spell and limiter removal, we lose. I guess. Normal gear frame. That's really fucking good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he's on Machina Gear Town. It could have been like some Karaz nonsense, or it could have just been like Hero Gear Town or something, but he is on Machina. Which makes me reconsider wanting pulling the rug. This is gonna make me torrential. I will happily get my three for one there. I think a little greedy on his part going for this, because um unless he has like field spell limiter, then that was pretty clearly what was going to happen. He might also just have a way to bring back Fortress, which fucks us pretty hard. So, yeah, Fortress really good against her deck. Yep, there it is. Way to bring back the Fortress. And, yeah, 2,500 to the face. This is another reason to want Mirror Force, because answering Resolve Fortress is really hard for our deck. Jesus. I'm going to draw another Shitter Samurai. Watch this shit. Upstart. fucking told you guys this is when the deck is at its worst that's why we're playing the least amount of these they're not technically garnets they're like combo pieces but we just didn't draw the other half of our combos so um we're forced to start playing a little defensively here we have to start setting stuff i'm gonna start with cayman he's the worst one possibly iroh's worst considering one of our outs is a level limit or gravity bind but i think at this point i've lost this game or at least that's what i'm thinking i do have one card advantage to play around with because your town's an inherent minus and we got a pretty big torrential on him so i have like an extra turn to play around with in terms of like grind game shit but yeah this is rough especially if he has like bottomless or anything i mean i have to do this like there's just no way around this so. normal iro get two counters and just pass. Fingy, what is going on, bro? Why did you wake up for this? The meows are back. 
I hope you guys liked the meows in yesterday's video because they're back for today's video. <sighs> the meowing continues. All right, Jar of Greed, not a great pickup, but better than nothing. I think, unfortunately, we are forced to make some bad plays now. Dude, he is like meowing, I don't know why. I'm gonna try to gateway here. Let's see if he has Dust Tornado or something. Fingy, why, why you do this? Why you do this? I don't understand. Alas, are we special to Grandmaster? We get two tokens on the gateway. I'm going to set the Jar of Greed, and I'm going to use the hand, sacrificing the hand to blow up the Machina Fortress. It does target, so... He's going to chain my body as a shield. Resolve, resolving an effect. Does that negate the activation? It does negate the activation. Um, I don't know how this works. I don't know how this works. I think it negates the activation. So it won't happen with Fortress. Um, but I can check. All right, give me a minute to check. Yeah, that's obviously very fucking bad for us for a lot of reasons. But I want to make sure we have this running correct. I, I do believe... Uh, individual card rulings? Sheena Fortress. Okay. Um, mandatory trigger effect, blah, blah, blah. The continuous effect does not activate. This effect is applied before resolving the effect that targets this card. If multiple copies... This word is resolving the effect. It doesn't activate. But does that mean... Hold on. Let me read this shit. It says, Solving an effect that targets this face of card. Look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from their hand. Before resolving... If the activation is negated, then it would, um, I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. My hand sucks, and I'm probably going to lose this game anyway. Um, let's see. I can't find a ruling on this, but I'm going to just show you my hand, and you can pick one. I don't think this is right. But we're just gonna do this because if it is right, I'm gonna feel bad if it wasn't right. I don't think this is right, but if it is, then I wanna make sure you get the full opportunity. He's gonna take Zanji. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, now we'll use Gateway to target the Grandmaster. Pump him up. 2600, 1300. Unfortunately, now we can't Starlight Road the Mirror Force, but alas, here we are. He's going to take 100. Um, and he's going to pop the gateway. He's got to take 100. Yeah. He pops the gate. Makes sense. That's our broken card in play. And we pass. So we're not like cooked cooked here but he's gonna he's gonna be able to bring back fortress and just beat us <laughs> yeah so there's that um second cyber dragon would be nice another grandmaster actually would be okay all right i gotta fire the jar just to see if we draw something United. Okay. I can at least try this. Gets a counter. I'll pass. I I think I think we will lose this game. <laughs> Realistically, but I'm I remain hopeful. I remain hopeful. I 
I remain very hopeful. This is so rough. He's gonna attack. Okay, we'll book his guy. Does he have solemn judgment? No, no solemn judgment. Okay. Retaining hope. Please give me something good. Ah! Maybe it's too. Ah, uh, I can't. He attacked. Yeah, monsters that attack can't change their battle position. The difference between the Gadgel Tron was that it didn't attack. It was just the start step of battle phase. No problem. Pass the turn. We're going to draw a monster. We're going to draw a monster. Fuck. <laughs> I suppose it technically works, so. I will do it. Torrential. Starlight Road? Hello? Are you crazy right now? Are you crazy with it? Am I pulling back here? No, there's no way. Do I pop the back row? Do I just take my plus? Or do I get my card draw? I think getting the card draw is better, but if he has D prison, like obviously that's annoying. Yeah, I think this is better. Cause it's like a guarantee. Six guy is gonna draw me a card. Fortress is gonna activate. Um, what's he gonna target? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, main phase two. Set the legacy. Pass. Hold. Am I cooking? Am I actually out here? Did I manage to pull this one out? I don't know how. The Legacy's dug me into some good shit though. Oh my god, bro has 80 million fortresses. He's drawn every 8 star in his deck. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. That's good. You should add that target to your hand. What the fuck? Huh? Okay, I'm not just dead, but like, that's pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. Okay, we're gonna take 200. Spirit is gonna fall off. Okay. Now what? He's gonna attack? Okay. I'm gonna take 1200. Dude, I can't believe I drew this. That's fucking crazy. All right, I need something good here. I need Space Typhoon. I'm gonna Legacy now. I try to find Space Typhoon so I can clear. Okay, that card doesn't do anything right now. <gasps> Please, base god, one time for the fans. Please let this stick. Please let this stick. No, don't thinking face, don't thinking face. Yes, yes, I have a 3000 Chimera attack. Let's go, baby, 3000. 3,000, can I attack here? Can I afford to attack here? Oh, he would have stopped the attack with the Machina guy. If he... <sighs> what a game. This has been such a sick game. All right, pass turn. Oh my gosh. We dug into the second Cyber Dragon, baby. Legacy of Yonagarasu, best card in the format. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Okay. Summons fortress, okay, but that isn't that isn't enough. That isn't enough. What does this do? Card your opponent controls just for the target. Okay, you have the fortress. This has to target one card your opponent controls. You can't pop the gear town with it. Okay, pass. All right, I like where this is heading. Not the best draw, but maybe Legacy will get us something. The best card in the format may draw us a good card. Legacy draws me to Spirit of the Six. Oh my fucking god. What a card. What a card. Not only is it lethal on its own, but it gets us a card draw as well. Holy shit. Special Grandmaster. GG's. GG's. Oh my god, we came, we pulled it way the fuck back. He never found another field spell. That's crazy. He had such a terrible draw this game. What was back row? 
What was the background? I'm actually really curious. Heart. Overload, and he never had the Cyber Dragon. Dang. Crazy game. Crazy game. All right, and we're moving on to the finals. Dude, I actually think Jar of Greed and Legacy of Yadagrasu, like, made the difference for us this game. I actually think they were the reason we were able to dig into our power cards. Like, imagine we just drawn a bunch more Iros and shit. We would have just fucking lost. But instead, we were able to, like, set our shitty Iro and, like, then dig into our nukes, which was Cyber Dragon, which is another reason why I do like the Smashing Ground in the um, post-war games. Always on Gaia Power, that card's fire. Congratulations to Nano Frake for making it this far, but it looks like we're on to the finals with Six Samurai, which is, like, um, pretty crazy, considering both of the decks we played against, I feel like would be really bad matchups for Six Samurai. Um, we're going to be playing the winner of the other bracket, which is going to be... Dopaminer versus Christine, both really strong players. Um, you guys have seen Dopaminer play in a bunch of these eight mans before. I believe it goes by the name of Jonah. Jonah, where the fuck? <laughs> the fuck are these guys? Oh, I guess Christine won. Yes, we are playing, and you'll you'll recognize Christine from uh, topping. I think the most recent RBET online. I don't fucking know, but. We are dueling now, which is hype. Hell yeah, finals. And the eight-man went, honestly, really well-paced. We didn't have to wait for any matches or anything. Just a just beautiful, clean eight-man. Hopefully the deck, like, um, follows through. This is a sick deck. I'm, like, pretty happy with it. I'll be, I'll be real with you guys. I'm pretty happy with it. I think, I think stealing Hector's technology and applying it to this deck has has actually improved the deck like a full tier in my opinion like it's it's a full tier higher what is this um oh okay scablin is christine all right good luck f1 i'm gonna pick scissors nice and we get to go first okay very very lucky we've actually won majority of our rock paper scissors in this video so i can't even complain and we've opened up very nice. Upstart is going to draw us Grandmaster. One time for the fans. One time for the fans. Okay. Never lucky. But. Hmm. What is the play? I think we go for Gravity Bind Pass. Level limit's a little better than Gravity Bind overall, so I think we're going to keep the level limit. There's a Blackwing Board of the Spear. It's fine. Just go for the Gravity Bind and figure out how we're going to navigate Icarus Attack. <laughs> that's, that's the next part of this video. Hmm. Wow. One card... One card deeper, we could have had the most insane start imaginable. I guess we just make him, make him have everything, right? Like, we go United, and then Gateway, Normal Spirit of the Six, Icarus Attack. This is gonna hit United and Gateway. That's one less out to the um, Gravity Bind, though. So, so we attack for five. That's going to go through. Hmm. Very curious. Do I special Grandmaster and equip? Yeah, I think we do. I think we do special Grandmaster. And then Spirit Equip. This just makes it hard for him to like just run over my spirit for free with um, Kalut or Gale or Blizzard even. Blizzard can come down here regardless and then like make some Bionic shit happen, which is annoying. But either way, like 
this is the most resilient situation we could have out of all of this. That looks like it's setting up for another Icarus attack. Uh, could also be a deep prison. Nevertheless, I'm going to spring the trap. See what wants to get used here. Two acres attacks down could be really useful for us. That means level limit has just that much higher percentage of sticking. Am I missing something? Oh, might be. Can't attack. Uh, might be can't attack. Yes. Uh, that's fine. We should pass. We don't have anything to do here anyway. Forgot this is symmetrical. For some reason, I was thinking uh, Grandmaster was a different monster. I could have unequipped the spirit, but it's fine. I was like thinking in my head, like, oh, they're going to Icarus attack this thing, and then, yeah. Um, but I think that this is like a moment where we can special the spirit. And then normal hand. And then spring the Icarus. They want to solemn. They might want to solemn this. Priority? Yes. Chain bottomless. Okay. This is why we play two hand. But that's going to blow up the monster that was set. It looks like a value. No worries. Um, once again, no reason to commit any of these cards quite yet. Just pass. Losing the hand is a little annoying, but I think it's fine. Hmm. Two darks engrave towards dark armed. Blizzard. That's annoying. Yeah, this is Bryonic. Bryonic is good here, for sure. Bryonic bounce gravity bind. We don't have a great way to out it either, currently. Drawing too many of this effect and not enough of the other effects, like those cards is a little annoying. We have a good sideboard for this matchup. And we are still kind of up cards in a way. That's a good card. That is a good card. I think it's activate level limit, switch the Bionic to defense. This may warrant a solemn. Yep, there's the Solemn. Pretty happy about that, honestly, because that would have been really fucking hard for us to deal with later on. Cool thing about all this is we can just set three and pass. Um, they can bounce the all three back row and then bring back Armed Wing and put us on a two turn clock, but then we set three again and then they have to hit a one out of three to hit the Gravity Bind. So, um, Pretty much that. They can also just take this as an opportunity to identify the gravity bind. Okay. I think I may just take 23 here. I think I'd rather still force the discard. Yeah, I'll take 23. Hmm. Set monster, set back row, pass. Okay, give me something good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Set pass. This time start battle phase, we flip the bind for sure. 
Yeah. Start battle phase, flip the bind. In phase two, set back row. Is that what I want to hit with Typhoon? Probably not. Okay, we do Cayman. Cayman can crash with Bionic, I guess, which is cool. Um, yeah, let's just normal summon Cayman. Thinking on the summon. I can't. <laughs> I don't control another six samurai monster. Yeah, there's bottomless. That's ugly. Okay. Now we're kind of Dobbs. Pass the turn. We have to get kind of lucky here, I think. I think. I'm not super, super certain. But they can pitch one, bounce the brown, bounce with Brownick, banish, bring out the guy, flip some of their guy, and then probably KO us. But um, we have to get kind of lucky on a few things. Maybe on my turn, I should have tried to Typhoon their back over. That doesn't really work. I think saving the Typhoon is better. In case they have oppression for road. Just like small concern of mine. That was a good second bottom list there. Uh, having both summon stops definitely paid off there well for them. Frustratingly enough, pitch Shura and Book. Gonna go for the other two sets. Um I should have chained the typhoon. But nonetheless, flip Kalu. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Bring out Armed Wing. They have Icarus Attack set. I should have chained Typhoon on the set card. That was the play for sure, but this still keeps me alive at least a turn. Loot attacks on the attack. I'll typhoon the back row. Gonna chain Icarus. Okay, so that's gonna hit the bind. We're gonna take 46 here. We lose the bind. I need a pretty good fucking draw. No cap. But I have those draws, so. That is an okay draw, I guess. Pass a turn. That's tough. Now, if you're Christine, you have a lot of options. But. Mirror Force was a good draw. That was a really good draw. I can't even be upset with that. Well, that's heinous. That's really, really ugly for us. Because um, that makes Piercer. And Piercer's lethal on its own. And we're forced to Mirror Force Piercer. Oh, what is this? Stardust? Dark End? Stardust. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This is so fucking AIDS. After Mirror Force. Stardust negates. Brownic attacks. Clears the spirit. End phase, they get to bring back the Stardust. I don't think we have a single draw that does it here. Maybe Zanji. Rhoda. Second road's not going to do it. Yeah, I think I messed up not chaining Typhoon to the Brownic, but I added the card back to my hand. That was probably the biggest misplay. Um, that being said, I think they just don't chain the Icarus. Well, they have to chain the Icarus to get rid of the bind, right? So, maybe they just don't chain the Icarus and then wait to use the Bionic to get rid of the bind. 
Like that's that's what makes the most sense. Um. Anyway. Anyway, this matchup is a tricky one. We have we have six really good cyborg cards. Dust shoot definitely comes out. I'm not a huge fan of Stall in this matchup, but it's gonna have to stay. Solidarity is useful in some capacity, just making our guys not suck ass completely. Road is obviously great. Uh, bind and level limit are good. It just didn't line up right that game. We have a lot of good cards in the matchup, basically. I think the worst card in our deck is probably something like Solidarity, just because they can like hunt down the monsters really easily. I think Iro is pretty bad. A lot of our monsters are like kind of bad. Iro's the worst because he's a dark and consecrated. Obviously, shuts off darks from being summoned. So there's that. I don't love Smashing Ground. I think it's amongst the weaker cards in this deck, but it helps us deal with Bryonic, which is the public enemy number one. That being said, I'm siding in a Book of Moon, so we can side out the Smashing Ground. And then I think I'm going to side out one Jar of Greed. Single. Single Jar of Greed. And that's it. And we're just going to try to play Protect the Consecrated and cook from there. This looks about right. We could also keep pulling the rug for Blizzard. That Blizzard top deck was a little bit bullshit, but there's a lot of good cards in that deck, and so chances of them drawing a good one is, is pretty high. Um, and we also had to get a lucky top deck of the Mirror Force to even be in that game. So it was it was it was a tough game. I think I definitely misplayed not chaining the Space Typhoon to the Icarus when they activated Bionic, but I added the card back to my hand, and I wasn't about to be like, actually, can I take that back? Because I I messed up. I picked up the card, and so that's on me. Um, definitely had opportunities there, but yeah. This is pretty good. We got Consecrated Solemn. Doesn't really get much better than that, so just gonna play it. Set a couple cards. Pass. Maybe shouldn't have set the Mirror Force. Um, just because they can't attack me anyway, so. It's just nice if they have like a diner or something. And yeah, set, set, whatever. Play your Icarus game. Depending on what they target with Icarus, I may let it resolve. Who knows? We'll see. My hand is pretty far off from like wanting to solve something right now. Upstart Goblin. It's gonna find Legacy. Switch, set, pass. Could also play the level limit now as well. And then just save the Solemn for the Icarus. Here comes the Icarus, let's see what it targets. Consecrated in this back row. Okay, because they're targeting the Solemn, I'll just chain it. This way they need Heavy Storm plus like something else to go off. Um, set back row, set monster, potentially second Icarus. Be a little annoying. We drew Spirit, okay, beautiful. That's a good draw. That is a really good draw. So. We're going to normal spirit. Hopefully they don't play torrential. That'd be really fucking annoying. Okay. Special summon grandmaster. Okay. Effect of the spirit to equip to the grandmaster because I'm greedy and I want to draw a card. There's a good chance there's just another Icarus down there. So we're going to shotgun this though. Here comes T prison. Uh, do I take this two for one or do I book my Grandmaster and take that two for one instead? I think it's a little better to keep the Grandmaster around, so I'll book the Grandmaster. Main phase two. Pass the turn. Okay. Um, it's been a tough game, but... Not unwinnable, just tricky. Grandmaster's good pressure though, so. Dark Bribe, that's really good too. It's yet another way to defend the um, Consecrated Light. For the Grandmaster, just attack again. If they have another deep prison, that'd be fucking annoying, but hopefully not. Icarus attack, targeting Consecrated and Grandmaster. Okay. Um, 
straight to the grave and then uh, declare the effect of Grandmaster. And I'm probably gonna add back the Grandmaster in phase two. I could have added back the other guy, but it's fine. So you guys got two darks. I don't really have much for dark armed here, it's really annoying. Two Icarus are down. Set bribe. I don't think we level limit just yet. I'm at 4,000, that's so fucking ugly. I think we use the mirror force as soon as possible. Um, yeah. Okay, there's the Shura, that's fine. Special Bora, it's fine. Battle phase, attack. We go for Mirror Force. They're gonna lose both their monsters. We have four darks now, but Blizzard is still activates the dark armed. Gateway of the six. I think it's finally time to shotgun the legacy, but we might get dust shooted here. So I'm gonna activate gateway first to play around dust shoot and then activate legacy. And I hope to draw a monster. Holy fuck, we did. Oh my god. That's incredible. Chain dust on the gate. How important is this gate? Is it more important than giving the opponent a draw? We have Dark Bride of level limit, which should be pretty good. I'll let him kill the gate here, actually. I'll special summon Grandmaster. He's gonna run a pre. They're gonna oh wait, they don't know how this works, but um, Grandmaster is going to add back to hand. Special Summon Grandmaster again. I see. Yes. Now you do see. Battle phase. This card says when this card is just in your possession is destroyed. Not when this card you control is destroyed. So this is going to be 3,900. And uh, yeah, we don't even need to dark bribe that, which is nice. Dealt an extra 800 for us, little Ukazi. Top deck Blizzard isn't even good now because the oppression is face up. This is a textbook, just close this shit out. And phase two, set torrential pass. Blur of darkness, go off, draw two, banish dark from hand. I don't think there really is anything that just totally crushes us here because once again, we can oppress the Blizzard. All right, sick. That matchup went, or that game went incredibly well for us. It went super, super well. Um, but things get harder now because we're going second. So what do we do? How do we handle this one? How do we handle this bad boy? We've got Cyber Dragon. It's a pretty good card. Um, but they kept in Royal Oppression. So like, I'm just not going to bring it in. Smashing Ground going second does have a lot more applications. I think it is a little bit better than like Jar of Greed going second. Um, so we'll make that, make that change real quick. It's just a way to shut off a potential turn one Icarus attack. Um, it's just, it's just such a rough matchup if they start rolling, but you know, Hey, uh, I messed up game one and that's on me. I should have had the initiative going into game three, but I don't. So you live and you learn and we've opened up the worst possible hand here. I mean, this is just an unplayable hand, so it just happens. Normal Bora. Yeah, this hand sucks. Unfortunate. Draw for turn is Book of Moon. That's something, I guess. I'm going to try to attack it with Zanji. Just keep it simple. Try to trade or get our plus. Wow. Okay, so that's just a straight up plus. I set Book of Moon. It's like probably fine to set. I also keep it in hand. I'll just set it. That means multiple Sirocco in hand. Probably two Sirocco, maybe a Vayu. Um, because there was only one set, and then... Yeah, there was none of this, so... Warwind's gonna get activated. Sirocco's gonna get summoned, for sure. For sure, for sure. Yep, there's the Sirocco. We'll book the Sirocco. Next turn we can go Spirit, but that plays into Icarus. Man, this fucking blows. I guess we, we have to priority came in, pop the Whirlwind. I think that's the only play, unfortunately. Oh shit, never mind. I, 
I think it's still Priority came and popped the Whirlwind. It could also be Yaichi pop, but that... It's a long back row. Priority. Target Whirlwind. There's another Sirocco in the hand, but... Thinking of something as good. Oh, you have Solemn too? That's fucking crazy. I mean, if they saw this, it's still fine. I mean, then we have Consecrated, they have no back row. That's pretty fucking good. Like, that's... I'll take that, you know? I'll take that exchange. I mean, that's not, like... It's not terrible for us. It's not good, but it's not terrible. They are going to saw him. Okay, yeah. See, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. I'm actually not too upset by this. Plus 50. They should be at 39.50. Alright. Zanji's gonna attack that monster. I've never used seen a Solemn Judgment used on a Six Samurai came on in my life. But that's really funny. <laughs> that is actually really funny. That's the power of Black Whirlwind. Is like, you really need to defend it and make sure you get that advantage train rolling. I think that is a misplay, though. I do think that, like, it's a bit greedy to prioritize this. Um, Unless their plan is to summon synchro summon this turn. Yeah, this is rough. Yeah, yeah. If they get a non dark six star down, we have to get like Yeah, this is pretty rough. I thought it would be like another Sirocco, but Blizzard makes sense. It's possible they have Dark Arm Dragon as well. Just based off the way they were playing based off the Solemn Judgment play. It's very very likely there's a Dark Arm down there. It's just Synchro Bionic, Special Dad, pitch the Bayou, bounce the guy, armed wing. It's pretty strong, and if you have Clute, that's game. Oh, they're gonna go Goyo. Interesting. Bayou in hand, Goyo in play. Wonder if they want this. I need to draw a Grandmaster next turn, and even then, it's like not good for us. Hmm. Mirror Force might also work. Yeah, Mirror Force Consecrated might get me there. Allure of Darkness, main phase two. I would have done that after searching the Bayou before Synchro Summoning, actually. Because if you find Dad, like, you can actually find an OTK. That works. That just works. Holy shit, that fucking works. Oh my god. That fucking works. Summon Pass. Holy shit. That just fucking works. All right, <laughs> we're like hanging in there by the like skin of our teeth. How does this guy work? I must control another face up six Sam. Okay, cool. They have if they have another Blizzard, they can set it and set up for the big synchro play. But so at least gives us a turn, and then we can we can possibly attack over the set Blizzard. I basically need to attack every single set monster they play from now on. Um. So I can't really like afford to do anything stupid. Switch the Zanji. Are you gonna switch the Goyo to defense? Play around Mirror Force. Yes, yes you are. Not that it really matters, because we've got the bind. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Gravity bind consecrated. Let's go, baby. Passes the turn back. No more back row. Oh my god, gateway of the six. Let's fucking go. Hey, let, let me cook. Let me cook. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the opportunity to say that the next top deck is going to be bad. The next top deck is going to be bad. I'm going to normal summon Spirit of the Six. I'm going to get two counters. I'm going to switch this to defense. I'm going to pass the turn. Their next top deck is going to be bad. I'll just take a gamble. I have to gamble here. I don't have other plays. I don't have other opportunities. I'm floodgating them. I just have to hope they can't break through the floodgate. That's pretty much it. Set monster, please no back row. Please no fucking back row. Okay, one back row. That's bad. That's legitimately bad. But, 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 we can maybe get through this as long as it's not Icarus. So it's normal Yaichi. Get two counters on Gateway. Um, how do I do this? I have to attack the set. But Spirit gets over every tuner, so we go 
Gateway Search. Get Grandmaster. Special Grandmaster. Get two counters. The reason I'm doing this is to play around like compulsory on spirit or something. I don't fucking know. Yaichi effect to pop the back row. It's D prison. Fuck yeah. Okay, so the spirit can still attack. So let's go spirit attack the set monster. Ouch. Skin of my teeth, baby. Skin of hair of my skin of my bones. Whatever the fuck the phrase is. Let's go. Give me something good. Okay, Drew, second grandmaster. Upstar Goblin really being a fucking slap in the face every single time, but I'm I can't even be mad. We got a spirit equip to the Yaichi. Um, it's gonna be five hundred or fucking eighteen hundred, thirteen hundred. We need to fade like we need to fade again. Uh, I'm gonna be real. We need to fade a heavy storm pretty badly. Um, but wow. Okay. 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 Getting the setup going. Getting the setup popping. You can't set back right now because he actually just pops it. Unless it's an Icarus. Unless it's an Icarus. Okay. Icarus here would be pretty devastating. So how do we want to approach Icarus attack? Um. Well. Keep it a buck. Just pop it. See what they want to do with this. It is Icarus. They top deck Icarus. Okay. Okay, we got a match. We got a match. They pop. They have to pick. They have to pick between Bind, Consecrated, and Gateway. They can't They can't pop all of them. You know? I mean, obviously, popping Gateway is very good. Um, but I think they have to pop Bind, Consecrated. No, maybe they pop Gateway. Gateway, Consecrated. Yeah, I think popping Gateway, Consecrated makes the most sense. Um, leaving bind in play so we can't like do any shenanigans is makes more sense. Oh, they're gonna go after bind and consecrated. Yeah, I think this is a mistake because the bind was actually locking me up there, um, pretty badly. Whereas this is not locking me up that much at all. So spirit can get specialed again, and it can get us a search of any six samurai monster we want. And I think, um, that can get us either Cayman or it can get us. How am I getting out of this situation? I need a big think here. If it's hand, I can pop both of the monsters. But then I can't pop the whirlwind. Unless I heavy storm the whirlwind. Do they have Sirocco, Vayu, and Grave? They do. That's fucking problematic. I should have known that was Icarus. Maybe not try to use the Aichi there. I don't think it matters too much. So if I special spirit, that gets me four counters. I can search hand. Normal hand gets me two counters. Can I OTK? I think I can, right? So, yeah, maybe I, I shouldn't have used the idea, maybe. Use spirit, get two counters. This guy's gonna get weaker, but it's okay. We're just using him as a pop fodder anyway. 2120. Man, the fucking upstart math is fucking my shit up. Um Wait, unless I sack Grandmaster, hold up, let's see. If I go remove four. Cause I have another Grandmaster. I have another Grandmaster in my hand. So I can search hand, I can go normal hand, get two counters, activate hand, sack Yaichi, pop Zanji, sack Grandmaster, pop Goyo, special Grandmaster, get two more counters. Holy shit, did I actually pull this off? Hold up, 26, 31, and 51, GG's. Two pumps. Two pumps. Oh my fucking god, let's go! Holy shit, what a game! Oh, that was good! That was so fucking good, dude! 
Oh man, I can't believe this deck. This deck is actually so gas. I think they messed up. They should have popped the gateway for sure. I mean, we each made mistakes. We each made game losing mistakes. We each made game. They should have popped the. They should have popped the gateway for sure. You having the guy who pops sets when I set DP really hurt. Yeah. Um, Yaichi is crazy. Yeah, Yaichi is actually such a fucking broken card. This card is insane. It's like Lila on steroids is how I would describe it. Uh, it it might be my pick for like second best sa samurai next to Grandmaster. Obviously, um, you want to max Spirit because he's part of the combo with Grandmaster. Or my game losing mistakes trying to get better. Uh, this game, our game one, I should have chained Typhoon to Bryonic activation because I had Road. Um, then game three, you should have targeted Consecrated plus Gateway with Icarus instead of Cons plus um, Bind. Because Bryonic can always bounce bind. But Gateway gives me OTK potential. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely should have uh, popped the Gateway instead of the bind there. It was, to be fair, that was a really complicated situation. Like, to be fair, that was not, like, not an easy Icarus attack by enemies. This was not an easy game on either side. So, um, how whirlwind turn one this game but forgot to play. <laughs> <laughs> missed one search i wonder if that would have mattered um yeah i wonder if that would have mattered my hand my hand was really bad my hand was ass it was like um it was really really ass but yeah that was a that was an interesting game popping the gateway would have though for sure for sure yeah definitely would have would have mattered if they were able to pop the gateway because then it's just like since next turn you had a double search play yeah exactly exactly yeah you would have been fine next turn so yeah good shit ggs to the opponent ggs to all of my opponents i'm gonna stop recording here make sure and smash like and subscribe this one is, was an absolute blast i can't believe that um legacy and jar of greed they they make any deck tier one any deck tier one now so yeah check that out see you guys in the next vid peace